Hi guys. So I know na marami sa inyo na gustong mag-live stream ng um, you know, ng game nila sa Facebook or YouTube. And I'm really happy to say that I was able to figure it out, you know, after maybe one or two days because I was really curious on how to do it, you know, how people do it like, you know, like Dougie or um Zapno or even even Sander, right? He was able to already do it. So, um, you know, I really tried my best to be able to figure it out and I'm gonna show you guys how to do a live stream of your Mobile Legends on Facebook, okay? This is simple steps, but I need to be clear about the equipment that you the equipment that you'll be using and also the programs that you need to download, okay? First off is, of course, you will need your phone, okay? So your phone, Android or iPhone, whichever that you have the Mobile Legends with, okay? And then you need to have a computer or laptop that has a webcam or a built-in camera, okay? And next off is, if you want to have a clear voice on your live stream videos, you need to have a microphone or a headphone or, a, or like this, uh, just a, a headset. And this is actually Logitech headset, and I used it before in my tutorial. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool because it's um, a noise canceling headset. So whatever is on the background, you will not hear it. Um, you know, unlike the other headphones. And then next off is so those are the equipment that you'll need be needing. And of course, you need to have a Wi-Fi or a very strong, not really very, but you know, a strong internet connection to be able to do both the gaming and the live streaming, okay? Now, if you have all those, then we can proceed to the next steps, okay? First off is, you're gonna have the one main tool, and this is the most important tool that you need to download on your um, computer or laptop, okay? So that is actually the OBS Studio. Now this is what you need to remember is, this is the number one live stream tool okay that you you'll be using this is where everything is gonna really go you know everything is gonna happen here okay and then the next is the, the, that's the first thing and then the second thing is you need to have a screen mirror okay because you, you need to be able to show off your uh, mobile legend game like this like you know like here up here right onto your Facebook live so you need to have a screen mirror app or program on your computer okay so I'm gonna discuss on that further um, on the next uh, on the, after a few minutes from now I'm gonna discuss on that further okay but first off is how to download OBS studio first off is you need to have a Google Chrome browser I prefer that because that is where I downloaded um, most of my you know most of my programs so you, you need to uh, type in OBS OBS free free download right um, and then you have to make sure uh, that you um, that you actually select the right computer system that you have if it's either 32 bit or 64 bit so uh, in order for you to know that you need to go to I, I'm really not sure with other windows but for Windows 10 you need to go to search on the bottom left of your computer and then go to settings and then you go to um, under settings you will just need to look for system settings okay uh, still loading but yeah you just need to know if it's a 62 64 or 32 bit so you go to home and then you click on system and then under system you go to uh, you have to scroll down on the options okay scroll down at the very bottom you'll see about and under about that is where you'll see if it's a 64 or 32 bit and as for me this is actually a 64 bit operating system so i'm going to click on this one that uses the normal normal uh, uh obs studio um, installer so i'm going to download this it's going to go here and you just need to select it and you click on run until it prompts you and then until all the successful 
the installation was successfully completed okay now once you have your OBS studio it's gonna look like here I'm gonna just remove this okay I'm gonna remove this because I want to show you guys how I put this in okay so for example you just you know you have it right here you need to click on uh, you need to click on a scene so you can add a scene whichever you want but as long as it's an empty scene okay and then you click on the plus on their source and you click on video capture device for the face cam okay and there you go I have my face cam on I'm gonna click on OK because I can adjust it right here. I can adjust it here whenever I want to, or here, here, here. But I'm gonna put it here, okay? And the next is you need to have uh, the next thing is you need to have the Screen Mirror app, okay? And how to download the Screen Mirror app or the program? Um, first up is you need to Google it, okay? Or I can just give you a link where I actually got everything. Uh, you know the two um, screen mirror apps that I actually used okay now it's important to actually uh, look for this apps um, so for me as for me I downloaded the a power mirror but I did try the visor okay visor is the most common commonly used um, screen mirror app but it didn't work for me so I actually Try the second one and it works like a charm okay so I downloaded this uh, a power mirror okay by clicking on the link below I'm gonna send you all the links under this video okay um, so it will be easier for you um, so I downloaded this and it's gonna pop up right here I'm just gonna click on run until the installation ha has been completed and then it's gonna look like this Okay, it's gonna look like this right here. Okay, there's a USB. You can use the USB connection as long as you have done the USB debugging. Okay, um, if if not, Wi-Fi connection is much easier. Okay, so I actually did the Wi-Fi connection. Now this is what uh, once you have the Wi-Fi connection, you need to also download the. Um, download the a power mirror on your phone so you go to play store and then you look for a, a power mirror and then you click on install when you once you install it it's gonna look like this and you can go to your game and it's gonna show your game okay so once you have this screen mirror open in your computer or laptop then we can go back to OBS studio and be able to open it here okay so all you need to do is to add another source by clicking on the plus sign and then uh, looking for window capture okay under windows capture you're going to see a pop-up window it's gonna have a drop down menu and this is where we can see all the stuffs we can put in basically and we're just gonna focus on the a power mirror as you can see there's a lot but we're gonna we're gonna click here a power mirror x dot exe a power mirror main because this is where I saw the game okay so it depends with whatever um, you'll be able to see on your on your end as long as you tried every other option and whichever works for you um, you know is really gonna depend um, so for as for me yes this worked out we're gonna stretch the screen and okay it went black screen because my phone went on lock mode so yeah as you can see I don't have my video anymore but I'm going to put it right here by right clicking on order and move to bottom there you go so this is what you're gonna see on your live stream video and on live stream video you need to make sure that your settings for uh, you know for your um, for your OBS is has your stream key so um, now that we are all set you know we have 
have everything that we need from this screen. So uh, we're going. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is to how you're going to. Um, so how are you going to do the live stream on Facebook? So you need to log into your account first, okay? And you go to your profile and click on live video. And it's going to take you to another screen where there are two options, okay? And uh, normally we just, you know, we just open the camera and then it's going to uh, let us, or it's going to give us the option to uh, go live. And But we're going to click on connect and we're going to see the stream key, okay? This is what we're going to need to do a live stream on OBS. We need the stream key. And I use a persistent stream key so that it doesn't change all the time. I, I use a persistent stream key and I just click on copy and I went back to OBS Studio and I click on um, I click on settings. Okay, under settings you can uh, adjust or configure some of the other settings as well. But we're just going to focus on uh, this stream tab. Okay, you click on the stream tab and it's also going to give you the option to um, do a live stream of in, in YouTube or Twitch. Um, so you're just going to copy paste it here. Whatever you have on Facebook Live, you can copy paste it here. And then you click on uh, apply and then OK. And once you're done with that, you can already um, you can already uh, click on start streaming. You click on start streaming first. Once you click on start streaming, okay, I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna click on it, and I'm going to go to the Facebook again. And then after a few seconds from now, you're gonna see the same screen that we have in OBS Studio. There you go. So we are done with that. We can click on go live and you are already uh, on the live stream of your uh, mobile legend game. So that is pretty much it for today. And I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial. So um, until next time. So we're going to have other tutorials as well in the future.